continue here and uh, we were going, going to discuss the dynamic transform function, uh, how to construct the XFR. So let's talk about it. And um, uh, I was talking about the variable vector. So how we prepared the variable vector uh, within the dynamic transform function. And uh, so I was talking about uh, variable vector and we have constructed the variable vector using this, uh, this function, right? So I have declared these uh, these vectors and uh, we have uh, created the all the variables by calling this uh, you know for loop and uh, not for loop uh, these you know I need two two variables actually l here and l uh, address. So let's talk about what is the definition of l here and l address is. So I have the both are string kind and the name is L here and L address and uh, you know that this is the you know initial value of this and this is the command. Okay, and uh, L address this is the initial value and there is no command over here. So if you if you pass this in Mac local, so Mac whenever you call the Mac local, so Mac local is the function which is going to be returning the variable back. Okay. So variable vec it is going to be returning. So the definition of the variable vec we already know. This will be a name, variable type, init, comment, and all. So the this uh, the parameter also would be kind of in similar lines. So it will be accepting the name and the type and the you know initial value and so on. So there would be some certain now optional parameters. So I'm not going to specify over here like comment and all. You can specify the comments also and whether it's in a level or not or something like that. Okay, so this is going to return me as a as this one, you know, this earlier. So I'm going to append this in you know in the variable back. Similarly, I have L address which has you know string type and this is the initial value of this uh, this variable back. So okay. So therefore, um, I have created the variable vec which has two two vector. I mean two elements in it. So now I'm going to create the rule vec. So as we know, a rule vec will be depending upon the output DML uh, number of fields. So the number of uh, output DML fields, those many you know rules we have to create. And also, uh, if we don't have, if we have extra extra fields which is there in that uh, you know, output device which we are also going to be using okay so so let's talk about i uh, is equal to i less than number of fields so we are going to create the rule back vector append rule back make rule out out demons info name or output info name and all okay so the param the rule which look like out dot uh, you know field name is equal to in dot field name so my first parameter is going to be a rhs and second parameter is going to be a lhs and the priority and all so if you look so whenever i call like this so let me take it into the new line so what is going to be constructed so first field so let out dot name so this is the string macro so this is this entire parameter is the string. So I'm going to append this this out DML input iteration zero and name. So this name is going to be there and then what is and this in dot name. So okay with priority as one. So this is going to be written as part of this call. You no know, macro we call. So if you if you are returning like this, I mean, not this. Basically, in the in the in the format of uh, this format, it is going to be returning. So the element would be like uh, LSS in the sense of in dot name, l r s s out dot name, and priority one and comment null. Okay. So similarly, it is going to return. So if we call again the extra friend and using that, you know. I'm empty here. Uh, this one is going to be appended one by one. Okay. okay. So this is how we, you know, construct basically the rule web.
and uh, next is uh, a statement vector let's uh, talk about the statement vector okay and they are the, the remaining fields i'm going to add one by one you know outdoor address is one field and then the value of it and the priority of it okay so this is the macro okay and uh, uh, the wrong i should not specify this bracket so i need to specify all the pro properties over here i should close over here similarly over here should close this over here so the macro will be accept macro would be accepting uh, output here and uh, you know output uh, this one rule input rule and the priority okay. so because we have a constant value here so i don't have to specify i am one dot thing right like i have done here so i have constant value therefore so uh, let's talk about the statement vector so incidentally i do not have any statements over here in the reformat so the statement is looks like a for loop statement or a, you know any other constant statement or uh, you know if statements so these uh, i do not have the statement would be sim simple basically the statement and the command so if we specify any if statement you know let's uh, if we have to create like for loop something for i i is less than let's say 10 yeah, right begin and end okay and i have to create the vector let's say some you no know, some 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 string i'm going to add so str lstr is equal to um, string concatenate this is simplest example string concatenate concatenate lstr and some uh, let's say let's say i have vector some Um, let's say city. Okay. So let's say I have vector which has the, you know containing the city names. Okay. So if I need to create one, so this is you know entire this is my uh, for statement and the command of this for statement would be uh, maybe I can specify over here. Okay. This is for loop of what or something. I can specify over here. Right? So if I have this kind of construct, then I need to create this statement. So this entire string I can place in the statement vector. So you you see that this is a string kind, right? These are for so statements. So entire statement I can place over here, and whether it's a comment, I can display in the comment section. This is also a string type. So if I specify this comment over there, then you know it will be it will be placed, you know, maybe outside or Okay, so this is going to be considered. So as of now, I am going to remove it because we are not going to create it. So finally, finally, by creating the final transform which has you know proper body, proper name of the transform function, and proper, uh, proper you know sequence of vectors which we have created. So this will accept vector mac argument in vector mac argument out. So there are there will be a name of the transform function. what are the arguments so in the join we will have two arguments right i n 0 and i i n 1 so in uh, input argument there will be two arguments and then you know in output argument there will be one argument you know in the reformat and then there will be a variable back statement back in this sequence and rule back so first we are going to specify variable back and then statement back and then finally the rule back which have we have created in the body of this dynamic transform function so while we while we call the back transform so these many parameters is going to be accepted by this uh, back transform function this is also a meta programming function so if we look at the meta programming function while creating the transform is uh, like uh, we have three vectors and if you look at the look at the structure of these types is like simple basically so if you took uh, if you look at the variable back structure so if you think of variables we will have these many properties in mind right similarly if you think of rule we will have these many properties in mind and if you think of any statement we will have these many properties in mind right 
so so only these three types we need to uh, keep in mind while constructing dynamic transform and for for each uh, you know variable back there will be a function which is going to accept all those many you know parameters as these fields understood right so if you call a mac mac local so this is going to be written as a variable so this is going to accept all those parameters like name dml type initial value comment and the label or not so so uh, you can remember this i mean the mac local is going to accept those many parameters which are there as part of variable where field right similarly uh, there is a mac rule so while creating the uh, while creating any rules okay so mac rule is going to accept these many parameters like lhs rhs lhs and comment simple and then there is an uh, mac argument mac argument is while creating the arguments like argument is i n 0 i n 1 and out so these are three you know kind of arguments so uh, similarly for statement if you are going to create the statement then there will be mac statement there will be one more function okay? so these are the four functions mac transform mac rule mac local and mac statement four function and three types that's all and if, okay and when when you when you construct the any dml so then there will be you know this is main function dml in field info back record info is the main function and dml field info back is the main main you know type so if you know this then you can construct any any dml using this meta programming function so in all and all we will have these types okay and uh, these types and make field is uh, another function for this um, if you want to in learning purpose you can see like make field f y make field function this is done for dml and for xfr dml variable where dml rule where dml statement where and for uh, each and all there will be a right so yeah let me uh, yeah first we will going to define the types and then there will be a, you know three functions right what is those functions so mac local yeah mac local mac rule and mac statement okay the mac statement i mean you can check uh, mac, mac local and i think mac statement probably mac statement need to check and then there will be for statement here this not this is not mac local mac rule yeah, this is for rule mac rule and mac local for this variable mac okay so these three function three types and mac transform is the final finally mac transform okay so four so seven to eight things are there which you can keep in mind and you can construct the any complex uh, transform function okay, easily so this is all about uh, meta programming okay so if you want to apply uh, so this is the uh, created for a small kind of graph we will have you know input so we will have input and then there is a reformat a component then there is output so what we are going to refer is so the output so the input part of reformat is going to be uh, you know same input dml info this parameter there is a input dml info i can refer refer in the input part of reformat and output part of reformat is going to be output uh, this parameter output dml okay and the xfr of, of this reformat is going to be referenced as a pdl interpret output xfr no other output xfr i can do then and you interpret it as a pdl and it is going to be taken the value dynamically from your 
you know parameters okay and uh, yeah we can create one other more parameters which are you know the name of the file of input file and name of the file output so on okay so this is uh, all about meta programming